Wilson with Dan Brownlee after the 1-0 Hampshire Cup final win over Bournemouth. And Dan, can you sum up your emotions for us when you saw that shot hit the net in stoppage time? Typical Basingstoke. Typical Basingstoke. Um, I've, I've just run out of words with this group. I mean, I'll try and find some for the sake of the interview, but my God, what a special group. You know, it's just the, it's the perfect ending to the perfect season. Like, I've, I've just fallen in love with this club. Everything to it. You know, we've... we've You've heard me say a million times how, how difficult this spell has been over the course of the last four or five years. Um, but today, surmised everything that is brilliant about this club. The support was just unbelievable. You know, you've got a thousand and what's it, thirteen hundred there today. Probably twelve hundred with Basingstoke. Um, that says a lot about this club and the way it's going and the trajectory and the fact that they're starting to believe in this club again. Um, and and so they should, and they should believe in this group. It's just. A season like that, I just I don't think I'll ever be able to rival again. Um, I'll give it a damn good go, uh, but it's it's just been it's been unbelievable. And it's the first time in Basingstoke's history that the club has won a treble. For you and for the players, what does that place in history mean? We said it before, you know, we we, we were we weren't naive enough to believe that we were going to come down here and pop them off the park. We believed that we had a, a, an approach that would asked some questions and it became a really good cup final. The fact Mark Scott is, is uh, one man of the match, I think, sums it up in, the, in that they've more than played their part. Um, but we, we look like scoring, you know, and, and against a side that is full of talent that are looking to win, to get into Premier League into a Premier League team, it's just exceptional the way the boys handled it. We haven't had a training session in two weeks. We trained on a park pitch on Monday afternoon, on Monday evening. Um, the preparation has been woeful, but oh my God, this group. They're just the most special group of men in, in every aspect. But um, today's a club thing, and uh, picking up on your phraseology about me and the players, the, the, the management staff, we had a little bit of a, an emotional moment before we came out to this game. Um, well, just thank them for all their efforts because it, 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 today wasn't going to define our year. You know, if, we, if we'd have got beat 3 0 today, I'm, I still want to have this. Um, positivity about the, the season as a whole but my god just what an end unbelievable and three trophies in three weeks do you get used to the feeling we're going to have to get a bigger cabinet aren't we um, <laughs> no and I've, again I've said it to the boys don't get used to it you know and, and we, we went 15 games unbeaten in the league um, and nice uh, we went 15 games unbeaten in the league and you can get used to that feeling it's that oh, Jesus Billy that is Billy Upton in a nutshell um we, we kind of got used to winning to every week and it's, it's a great thing to have you know it's a, it's a great um, attitude to have but likes like this you know Fratton Park against AFC Bournemouth um, and you win 1-0 in the last minute like if you're going to write scripts then the league and the way we did that and tonight I mean I know Wrexham have got a, a, a blockbuster um, kind of documentary going at the moment but my god if you followed our story it would rival it and it's amazing. How now do you go on from this? You've won three trophies. You've won every trophy that you could realistically hope to win. What do you do now? Where do you go? Try and do it all again. You know, it, I, I've said before, it gives us the appetite to, to, to know what it means. And, and we, we've, we've spoken about moments all across the season. Um, in the, I, I've said it before, you, you look at uh, the Westfield game where we lost 4-0. You know, you can you can be dead and buried in an instant. I think we'd won it was six points out of four points out of twelve in the opening stages of the league, um, and and even this competition, you know, it, it it was an interruption at that point. But the lads that played, you you, you look back at Ethan Abrahart, Noah Chengen, uh, Prince de Cruz, like they've all played their part. Joel Halliday, like the, the young lads that have got us here, have, have made a real real difference. Um, and it, it just this night, this ending, the lads are off to Benetton tomorrow. Uh, it just it's exceptional absolutely exceptional I don't think Ben Adam's going to know what's hit it no I, I, particularly with Billy Upton I don't think he'll sleep for the next 20 <laughs> days um, but that's what it should be about you know like I, I'm all for professionalism and stuff you've got to enjoy your wins because my god if there's one club that can showcase that this doesn't happen very often uh, it is Bayes Town because we have gone a long long time without this feeling and I'm so pleased that there was a big turnout today that got to witness it I'm so pleased that there was a big turnout uh, of the league that got to witness it um, and it's it's just it, I, I couldn't be prouder to manage this group and manage a, a group of men that are willing and determined and kind and thoughtful and everything you want in a man not just a footballer so uh, I'm a very very proud man tonight and uh, I'll take a bit of a break and then probably get back to work tomorrow.
Congratulations, Dan, and for the last time this season, thank you very much. Thank you, Nick.